Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to begin with the underlay. Now, I've already mentioned the fact that we are going to be running OSPF as part of this underlay, and this is going to be where we're going to build the control plane infrastructure that we're going to place our VXLAN configuration on top of. Now, that means I'm going to be running OSPF on the loopback interfaces and the physical interfaces that are going to be connecting my resources. This is also going to include the logical or the loopback 77 interfaces. It's also going to include the loopback 100 interfaces that I have on all of my individual devices. And just to make certain that everybody is aware of the fact that they exist, each one of these devices is also going to have a loopback 100. And what we're going to do is we're just going to light up OSPF and then we're going to verify reachability. Once that's done, we'll be at the end of this portion of our demonstration. So all I'm going to do is log into each of my devices. Now, these devices are already pre-configured. They already have the IP addresses on them. So if I come in here and I say show IP interface brief, we should see here that I have loopback zero. I have loopback 77. I have loopback 100. And I also have ethernet one slash one. Same over here. I should have the three logical interfaces. If I say show IP interface brief, we'll see that I have the three logical interfaces. Actually, in this instance, I don't have a VLAN 100. And that's because this is going to be my spine. So I really don't need to source any of that information. I'm not going to build an NVE in this instance. And then here I'll log in. And the credentials, just as a reminder, are admin NX OS 12345. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and fire this guy off here. And I'll say show IP interface brief, and we should see three logical interfaces and one physical interface connecting my resources. So the easiest and best way to do this is go ahead and start the config. So over here on LEAF 101, I'm going to say configure, and I'm going to start by creating the or enabling the feature OSPF. Remember, conditional services reign supreme. In fact, what I'll do is I'll come over here and do all this on all of my devices. Feature. And we shall say OSPF. And over here, I'll say feature OSPF. Well, we need to config T first. Feature OSPF. All right, so now let's go ahead and get the configuration in place. Now I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna say router OSPF. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use a name that is going to have some meaning for us. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and call this underlay dot net or dash net for underlay network and what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign a router id to this device i'm going to use loopback zero as that router id so all i'll do is i will say router id will be 192.168.0.201 now it's the highest address or i just want to specify this i could just use the highest loopback interface but I want to make certain that everything is tacked down and is as unique as possible. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to say interface loopback zero, IP router, OSPF, under lay net. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use area zero. I'll keep everything as simple as possible. I'm going to go to each of the other interfaces, interface loopback 77. I'm going to do the same thing. Interface Ethernet 1 slash 1, enable the routing process there, and interface Ethernet 1 slash 2. Now, obviously, I could have just done it as a range, but I chose not to. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say show IP OSPF interface brief in order to be able to see what's happening. I can see I'm running the loopback 0. Loopback 77 are all taking part in OSPF, and I'm waiting to form neighbor adjacencies out of Ethernet 1 slash 1 and Ethernet 1 slash 2. So let's go ahead and just do the rest of the configuration on the other devices. I'll begin with LEAF 101. So I'll say router, OSPF, and we'll say that this is going to be underlay dash net. We will say router ID, and the router ID will be 192.168.0.101. And then I'll just go ahead and enable the rest of the interfaces. So interface loopback zero, IP router, OSPF under lay dash net, area zero. We'll do 77. We will do, oh, 
sorry, need to get back into 77 and use the right syntax. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll say interface loopback 100. I'll do the same thing here. Exit, exit. And let's see what has happened. Actually, I need to interface Ethernet 1 slash 1, run it on the physical interface. So end. So now if I say show IP OSPF interface brief, what I should see here is, is that I have a neighbor, which I do. I have one neighbor. We, uh, our state is the backup designated router, so we have peered. And then the last thing I want to do is come over here to 9K3 and do the same configuration. So I'm going to say router, OSPF, we'll say underlay network. We will say router ID will be 192.168.0.102. And then we'll go ahead and enable this on the interfaces. So um, I'll just say show IP interface brief just so I can get a list of them again. And this one should be 77, 0, 100 in the physical interface. So I'll say config T interface L O zero IP router OSPF underlay dash net area zero. Interface LO77, let's do the same thing. Interface LO100, we'll do the exact same thing here. And then lastly, interface Ethernet 1 slash 2, which will be the physical interface, and we'll go ahead and enable the protocol. And what we should see here now is, is that I should have reachability across. So I'm going to say show IP route OSPF and see what my routing table looks like. And right now I have nothing. So let's see, show IP route show IP interface brief. Let's see what's going on. Show IP OSPF interface brief. Uh, it's there. So show IP OSPF neighbors. We've got a neighbor show IP OS show IP route OSPF. There we go. I was just being impatient. I'm famous for that. So let's test reachability. So I'm going to say ping, and I'm going to ping. Um, let's go ahead and show IP interface brief over here. And what we'll do is we'll ping, and we'll do some sourcing. So let's go ahead and say, can I ping 192.168.0.101 and source it from my interface Uh, source interface. We'll just use my loopback zero. I've got reachability. Let's go ahead and source it from 77. And all I'm doing is just getting some fundamental testing in here. So with this, the assumption is, is that I have everything that I need in order to enable any of the subsequent layers of the configuration that I want to employ. Now, the next part of this is going to be to take a critical look at what's going to end up going into building the control plane for the overlay. We just built the underlay control plane. I want to build the overlay control plane. And like I said, we're going to use MPBGP in concert with Layer 2 VPN, eVPN, address families to accomplish that. I will see you guys in that video. So if you are following along, get caught up and we'll hit the rest of it over there.